Like it or not, we got the Hall of Fame vote coming up on Tuesday. They'll announce it. Uh, like it or not, what do you think? Uh, David Ortiz in, yes. Can we just make a decision on Perry Bonds and Roger Clemens? Can we just put these guys in? They're Hall of Famers. Let's get real. I understand the PED use. I get all that stuff. It's all great. A-Rod will probably get in. I don't know about first ballot, but he should. I just believe that this is just a bunch of nonsense. Even, even for... Kurt Schilling, which I know a lot of people do not like his political stance on certain things, and I get all of that. This is for baseball. This is for what these guys did on the field, and I get it. Okay, you made them suffer, you made them wait, but let's just get these guys in. We know they are that talented. I mean, I hate to agree with him, but he's right. <laughs> and I hate to want those guys. No, look, 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 man. After the way those guys talked and acted, yes. I mean, they've been just petulant children the entire time. I hate to see him honored, but he's right. I mean, if it's a baseball Hall of Fame, you got to put him in the hole. And Mike Catalani used to just constantly bang, constantly bang on David Ortiz. Every chance he get. Oh, yeah, David Ortiz. And stuff. I, uh, Jason Stark did a column. I thought it was pretty interesting. He said, you know, and the ways to evaluate these guys, first of all, they weren't doing testing. When that secret list came out, David Ortiz reportedly was on it or this or that stuff. But when they started testing from the next year, those that's when Ortiz put together his best years. He was tested constantly mm -hmm. every year after that and never turned a positive test. The bulk of his career, in fact, virtually the entirety of his career was in the testing area. He always tested negative and uh, it, it, it should be a dead issue. Why is it he named like five, six guys, but you only defended David Ortiz? Because we like David well, Ortiz. He's the one that's. He's the one that's. The other guys don't fall into the same what same dates. No, 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 no. Would you The dates are different. Would you grow up? No, 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 no. no, no. Well, I want feeling too. I'm a Mets fan. I'm. I'm not even a Boston Red Sox. I like David Ortiz. David Ortiz is a likable guy. I think we will defend people we like and people who are a little ornery. We don't. There's only two guys that have tested positive twice, and is Manny Ramirez and, and Alex Rodriguez. And I go back to Jason Stark, and he said, as a result of those things and the fact that they denied it and all the rest of the stuff, he would never vote for those you two You want guys. Manny out? Yeah. Manny? I think you can't put Manny in no, if you're going to keep these other guys. Although three Red Sox going in the top. Ah, there you go. Great. <laughs> <laughs>